The overall goal of this procedure is to alter cortical excitability using repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation and then examine these effects on default network brain activation using functional MRI. This is accomplished by first obtaining a baseline anatomical scan of your subject that can be used for targeting a cortical stimulation site. The second step of the procedure is to acquire several runs of resting state fMRI prior to stimulation. The third step of the procedure is to apply TMS to the selected cortical target using stimulation parameters chosen for their modulatory effects. The final step of the procedure is to again acquire several runs of functional imaging. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show TMS-induced changes in default network activation through blood oxygenated level dependent imaging analysis. The main advantage of this technique over fMRI alone is that with TMS we can modulate one area to observe uh, network dynamics. This method can help to answer key questions in the field of cognitive neuroscience. Not only can it better elucidate interactions within a given resting network, such as the default network, it can also help us to better understand interactions between the default network and other resting state networks. Several days prior to the actual TMS and functional imaging experiments, have your subject come to the scanner for a baseline anatomical scan that will be used for neuronavigation during the TMS procedure. Begin